Let's see, my did choose a draw. Mulligand. I'll keep this. Swamp this hand's great. A land is okay, but I can still play a 4 2. Seven swamps and an amulet and an altar. Although the altar obviously doesn't work when you land. As I was said. White green. How am I playing against white green in the one in the two O bracket? The only time that ever happens in sealed is they have the the green white rare. Three three like lion. Turns into an aura when it dies. Whatever. I don't want to trade my Meyer Triton off, so I'm just going to pass here. I'm going to kill this. This frees up my Meyer Triton to attack. Also lets me scry. The, big, the, the actual reason why I did it is it allows me to scry for lands uh, if I brick this turn. Which I did. Don't actually want this amulet. I want it on Temple Land. Play it slow here, I think. Not much that can punish me for when I have a final death. There are some cards that need to be final death, like the Archon. I've got a 2 1 death tile, so let's just make it's green white, like force them to have something. They could have the fight card. That's only three damage, so they have to play like a card and a fight card. I've got Storm's Wrath to like clear everything up if I actually have to. I've also got no one of the dead that's just rotting in my hand, so like if I if one of my creatures died, I wouldn't be that sad. Whatever. I guess I'll just double block here. I can pre I prevent four damage by double block. I'm gonna storm his wrath anyway.
Screwdriver Shaman is probably better than what's here. Close. Trying to decide whether I've got I've got a lot of misses with this, but I'll do it. Was I miss? I sacked the card I wanted with it. I'm not playing. I didn't play the liar because I. I mean, it's not terribly important for them, for me, to like show all the cards I have because they may board in disenchants if they see this. You know, there's the tuna red. Um, to obviously it's a red card, they might have, they'd have to go into red. <sighs> yeah, shatter the sky. So, I don't think there's a reason for me to do anything here. Shattered Sky is too white white to destroy all creatures. I would draw a card, but I'd rather just have the 3-4 in my hand. Oh god. White, green, ground based fatty. Alright. White, green, ground based fatties. Now, if cards like Riptide Turtle and Nextborn Sea Guard would be good in this matchup, for sure. They would be good. But I am not heavy blue. But the Dream Shaper Shaman over the Witness of Tomorrow's has been fantastic. Choice. And a good choice. I can actually see myself running this in in slower matchups. I do have. I have three. I have three auras. If it's if the game goes late enough, I can imagine myself. I've got Alter and a Traveler's Amulet, so like a one planes, so not hard to, to come up with. Let me just go ahead and just keep this. I don't really see anything that I think felt like I needed to change there. Got all three colors of my mana, and I've I've got an early terminate. If I draw a creature, this sounds like pretty good. As long as it's not Dream Shaper Shaman. Gotta play a Swamp or a Mountain turn one as I have Slaughter Priest and Mogus. That's a lot of lands. That many lands. They like Tutor. What do you got for him? Elspeth Conquer stuff? Or I ruin games. My Leah. Okay. Well, bad news. My Leah is not a great card, but it's good when all I have are lands. It's too devastating if they play another double green card here.
There's plus three, plus three for two. How to use it. Next born Colossus. Pretty lucky. Look, they can't play both and attack with Nightwing. Oh, yeah, okay, so they do have Elspeth Conqueror's death. That's typically how, like, the reason for green-white decks to ever get this far is they have Elspeth Conqueror's death. Every land on my deck. This counter they also conquer stuff. This counters must sounding right one. This end is Let's go heavier into blue. They got like the slaughter priest. I think Ronda Play could be okay, actually. Ten's gonna be pretty good when I if I draw an island. I think I'm just gonna bend the omen of the dead. I don't have a ton of self mills, so it's just hard for me to. Use. Voted out the um, Stormage Wrath because I don't think that's how this game's gonna play out. I'm on the play against Elspeth's Conqueror's Death and Ilya. I need to be the aggressor. Like having a Wrath is just not what's going on. I didn't see a ton of removal from them outside of Conqueror's Death. I'll say they just like tricked. Okay. Alrighty then. <laughs> Uh, I don't need land, so...
Heliod's Pilgrim. I can't block either of my creatures, so they're going to get Dreadcalapathy. Warbriar's Blessing? So they already have a Dreadcalapathy? No, if they already had one, they would have played it. This is interesting. They get Warbriar's Blessing. They did have it. They drew that land too. We're sacking this to draw a card. I guess you need to ride this out. I think it's a pretty high possibility they have Dreadfalapathy in their hand already. And I want to Starlet Mantle it. That's a good draw. I think even if they drift apathy, my this it'll be fine. I might actually hit it. It also presents presents lethal. Oh, they have both. That was potentially really bad. I'm thinking they'd have that. I just lost the game. We can final death our own guy here. But I think Tectonic Giants potentially like higher upside. The border that Starlight Mantle in. We almost threw that game. I wasn't thinking about Mystic Repeal. Almost threw it. They had to, they had to have Shattered the Sky. They had to draw, because they were mana screwed, so they had to draw a land. I knew they had Dreadful Apathy because they Heliod's Pilgrimed um, for Warbriar's Blessing and not Dreadful Apathy when they were so far behind, so it was obvious that they had it. I actually should have known they had Shatter the Sky when they went to find Warbriar's Blessing. That was actually a complete tell that they that that's the only card they could have had. Because if they... Or it needed Dreadful Apathy. If they didn't have Dreadful Apathy, they would have searched for it. And if they had it, they would have played it. So it was obvious that the card in their hand was Shadow of the Sky from that line of play. Um, so I shouldn't have played my Slaughter Priest. I probably should have just passed. Because they, I mean, I could have just scried one if they didn't do anything. I mean, it wasn't awful because my Slaughter Priest did draw a card. Because I, I didn't have a 4-power creature in play. But I still think I would have rather had a Slaughter Priest, like, you know, post, post Shattered Sky. 